Dear Vienna Ensemble Pro community, we are proud to give you a quick overview of the new features that are now available in Vienna Ensemble Pro 5. Let's start with a few details that make life much easier, like that you can use the spacebar in the Vienna Ensemble Pro 5 interface to stop and start your sequencer, also over LAN. The little transport button in the upper left corner indicates the status. The interface is now completely customizable and elements can be freely arranged inside or outside the main window, by undocking windows or even unsnapping separate virtual instruments. Taking a look at the mixer window, you'll see that the default stereo pan has been transformed into a post-effect plugin rack. Plugins in this post-effect rack are processed after the pre-fade ascends, allowing for even more routing flexibility. Right-click the slot to replace the inserted plugin, and you can also insert Vienna Mir Pro here, like in this song, if the corresponding license is available. A hidden feature, you can also drag additional plugins into this effect rack. If you are using Vienna Ensemble Pro 5 in any ITU surround setup, you will see two additional exclusive plugins here. Surround Pan lets you position a stereo signal in the surround field, and Surround Balance takes care of the placement of surround signals. Depending on your channel configuration, you will always see the output levels in the jellyfish meter in the circle or in the level meters to the right. Of course, now you only hear this stylus drum loop in stereo, but I think you get the idea. As I have just turned my stereo signal into a surround signal with a surround pan plugin, I can, just for the fun of it, add a surround balance plugin that lets me position the surround signal in the surround field. But let's get to the next great feature. Fully mappable touch parameter automation. F5 opens the automation mapping window. Choose the parameter that controls the automation or click Learn for quick assignment of the automation source. Then either choose from the available automation destinations or click Learn and move any automatable slider or knob in your plugins. Super simple, like automation should be. With Vienna Ensemble Pro 5, we are introducing two new input plugins. First, the audio input plugin that lets you send audio to Vienna Ensemble Pro 5. Insert the audio input plugin into an audio channel and the interface will appear. Now connect it with the Vienna Ensemble Pro server interface that is already available. Pick the channel you want to use to send your signal to Vienna Ensemble Pro 5. And in Vienna Ensemble Pro, Use an input channel to pick up the audio signal. Now you can process your audio signal externally, so you can even use Vienna Ensemble Pro 5 as an external effects rack in your setup. It goes without saying that Vienna Ensemble Pro 5 offers full plugin latency compensation inside all instances, which guarantees that you stay fully synced in every situation. The second input plugin is the Event Input plugin that will be especially interesting for all users of audio unit hosts like Logic and Digital Performer, but also for users of the normal VST standard, as it adds additional MIDI ports to these plugin standards. I'll show you how this works in Logic, and we'll start from scratch. I have already inserted and connected one multi-timbral instance of Vienna Ensemble Pro 5. Now I'll add another multi-timbral instrument and insert the Vienna Ensemble Pro 5 Event Input plugin as an instrument. And just as with the audio input plugin, I assign a server instance that I want to connect to. 
and I choose the input or MIDI port I want to use. This way I have added a second MIDI port and can pick up the MIDI signals received from the MIDI event input plugin channels on the corresponding MIDI port in Vienna Ensemble Pro. As you can see, it's very nice to have up to 32 MIDI ports available. The number of available MIDI inputs, audio inputs and outputs is set in the Vienna Ensemble Pro preferences. In Logic, I have to apply a little trick to force the live mode for all audio input and event input plugin tracks. I insert an audio in out plugin into the track, assign an output and bypass it. This is the only way to avoid latency problems with this specific host. Another logic specific detail. To use parameter automation, you need to activate use for automation on one event input plugin in your setup. Otherwise, the automation won't work. Here are some more features that are really nice to have. You can now move multiple channel strips around. And we have added little plus and minus buttons that make it easier to add auxiliary outputs for your multi-timbral plugins like Contact or Stylus. As usual, you get the channel context menu by right-clicking the channel strip, where you can insert, delete and duplicate channels, copy specific channel settings and change the name and color of each channel. And we have added selection groups. Simply select multiple channels and right-click. Save as a selection group and I'm just picking some channels randomly. And whenever you want to manipulate this specific selection group, right-click anywhere in the mixer and select the selection group you need. Now you can easily manipulate the selected channels by holding down Alt. This works with channel features exclusively, volume, normal pan and color. Plugins and sends are not affected. Once Vienna Ensemble Pro 5 is inserted, you can now set the preferences directly in the server interface. Remember that less inputs and outputs will increase the performance of your computer. That's it for a quick overview. Additional information and more details can be found in your manual. Don't forget to check out our other new products. Vienna Instruments Pro 2 with its amazing new auto pattern and playback sequencer and of course the stunning Vienna Mir Pro. Both products integrate perfectly with Vienna Ensemble Pro 5. And there are free demo licenses available on our website. If you have any questions, join our great forum community or get in touch with us directly at support at vsl.co.at.